It's a lot. Our gut instinct is to be cynical. It's, there's no value, it's a bubble, and I promise you, and you're right, it could go to 50,000, it could go to 100,000, but I'm, I'm certain that at the end of the day, it will end up close to zero. How could a virtual currency, something that was once literally labeled magic internet money, be worth so much? Where is the intrinsic value that this thing provides to the world? That's the first question that everyone almost always asks. It's only when you're presented with an understanding of the technology and philosophy behind it all that you realize you've been asking the wrong question all along. We've covered some of this in the first part of the series, but to recap, Bitcoin is simply a bunch of transactions on a ledger that tell us who sent what amount of Bitcoins to who in the same way a bank stores all the transactions you've made from your account. With a bank, however, each transaction is validated by the bank themselves. If you try to send $100 to a friend when you only have $50 in your account, the bank will notice that this is an invalid transaction and reject it. The bank is a central authority. Bitcoin's goal is to be a decentralized form of currency, which Satoshi Nakamoto, its mysterious creator, outlined in their white paper published during the 2008 recession. Instead of relying on a bank to verify that the transactions are legitimate, transactions are instead validated by a bunch of computers that exist on the Bitcoin network, a network that anyone in the world can join by downloading the Bitcoin software. Think of it like a voting system, where each computer on the network casts a vote to determine the legitimacy of the transaction. After a certain number of transactions are made, a new ledger is created that links back to the previous ledger, and so on and so forth, which is what we've come to know as blockchain technology. You see, the real question isn't about the intrinsic value that Bitcoin provides to the world. Look at the US dollar. What gives it value? Take a second. Think about it. 